So let me walk you through the essential pages in a client attracting website. So your main site is your authority site. And authority websites are made of pages. You have your home page, services, about, contact, and your blog. And so this is the wireframe. This is what web designers do that, to plan out a website. They make this little wireframe. So here's my home page, my programs page, my about us page, my contact us page, and then my blog. And so I'm going to go through these main pages quickly and then we're going to create one inside of WordPress. So your about page is also known as your bio page and that's where you show who you are, whom you serve, and why people would want to work with you. And then you're going to want to make sure that you have your photo and your full name. So if you've got a website already and you don't have your full name, you're going to want to change that so that when people search for you, your full name shows up and they know that you've got, they've got the right person. I see so many people, I go to their About Us page, there's no photo, and they don't have their full name. And here's one of my students, Denise DeLorean, and she, she built a great site with me, and there is her full name and photo uh, on display. All right, let's talk about your services page. And if you're listening to me and you don't have services, just, just hang with me. I'll show you some other alternatives. Your services page is where you spell out the services you offer to people. It could be phone coaching, Zoom coaching, in-person coaching, one-on-one -on -one consulting. You might call it services or private coaching or work with me. And here's Denise's and she has her services page and uh, discovery and healing because she does energy healing and uh, coaching. Now, you might be a consultant instead of offering services. So you could have a consulting page or maybe you have programs. You don't do one-on-one -on -one consulting, you have programs. Or um, some people have products, right? So you'd want to have your products listed. And some people are teaching online courses. So you could call it courses instead of services. So in that column here, you can call it whatever you want. So let's just talk briefly about the contact page. On your contact page, you're going to want to list the methods you want people to contact you. So some ideas are your phone number, email, you might have a contact form, or you might put your physical address. Now this is really important. Do not put your home address. So if you don't have a P.O. box or a UPS store, or mailboxes, etc., or something like that, if you don't have a business address, then just leave your physical address off, but don't put your home address on. You don't want somebody just showing up. And here's Denise, and I love her contact page. It's so simple. She's got a form, and then she tells you to enter a question or request a 30-minute consultation, and let me know if you prefer to hear from me via phone or email. So she's not giving away too much information, but once people uh, fill out the contact form, then she gets back to them. All right, now I want to talk about the blog, and uh, you might want to have a blog, you might not want to have a blog, but here's the great thing about having a blog and some people call it their newsletter. So a blog is a way to market yourself by writing articles about the common issues in your market that people in your market have and then you can share it on social media to drive people back to your website. So for example, here is my blog at WebsiteCreationWorkshop.com forward slash blog and on it are the blog is my collection of articles. So when you hear that term the blog, the blog is the collection. And then I have a single article. So if you click on one of those, you would get into the single article and you can see it has a long URL at the bottom. That's something that I would then share on social media driving people back to my site. 
Now, one of my students, this is what she decided to do for her blog. She didn't call it a blog. She called it her client uh, success stories. So she used that to highlight the success stories of the clients she worked with. So that's one way to have a blog. Just have it as your success stories. Now, lastly, I'm talking about the home page. And it is easier to work on your home page last when you are building a site. Because as you build your site, your mission becomes clearer. So I always recommend when people are taking my WordPress training with me to build your home page last. Because as you put the pieces together, it all becomes clearer. And then you put that on your home page. And here is Denise's home page, really beautiful big bold uh, headline and this picture she has and then when you scroll down and here's a screenshot at the bottom you know she says your true self is waiting explore the possibilities and that's her she invites people to set up a, um, a discovery call with her all right so that was the authority site essential pages 